Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Empire Bloodlines from Kings and Crooks and Lee McKenzie. Uh, what this was, it was a Kickstarter uh, and it was a follow-up to Kings and Crooks earlier Empire edition. This is the Bloodlines edition and it was available in Royal Blue. It was available in emerald green, and there was a limited edition black. Uh, for the sake of this deck review, we're gonna look at the blue edition. All right, so the Empire Bloodlines editions uh, were inspired by just the beautiful, ornate, and elegant stone engravings that emerged during some of the most powerful empires in history. Uh, there were times when their legendary wars or world domination took place, uh, courage was celebrated, and honor was earned out on the battlefield. These are bold, uniquely custom decks that any card lover or artist or magician or player or yes, even a card collector uh, would love. And if you have the original Empire deck, you're going to see that the bloodlines are not just uh, you know, a new color, but they're a whole new deck entirely, and I hope uh, you like them as much as I do. All right, so these decks uh, say Empire right across the front. It's all done in a very royal seal. Uh, you got a lion with a crown and a unicorn there. It says Bloodlines, and then you have the standing lion there. Uh, on the side, you're going to have some ornate uh, imagery. You're going to have that cigar band that's infamous with this deck series. Uh, the other side's the same way. On the bottom, you're going to have some ad copy about kings and crooks. The top is some more ornate richness with a custom tuck seal. And the back design of the tuck is, of course, the back design of the cards. Also, right here on the inside of the tuck flap, you're going to see that the inside is all done very ornate as well. And then you have two little silver foil uh, images, both of the unicorn and the lion there on the flaps. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards were printed from the United States Playing Card Company on a B casino grade stock, which means they're thicker, they're gonna last you longer, they're gonna be more durable. Uh, they do have a modern cut, and of course they do have air cushion embossing. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. Back design is just really beautiful, very ornate. At the top, uh, it does say Empire, or uh, sorry, in the mirrored image, it says Empire both on the top and bottom. Uh, you're gonna have that thin, nice blue cigar band there on the sides, which means uh, you're gonna pick that element up when you do a spread and uh, you just can see it looks very uh, mausoleum very much like a stone engraving uh, with the wings at the top uh, it has kind of this throwback feel to vintage cards but yet it has a very modern elegant touch with this deck you're gonna get a couple of extras the first of which is you're gonna get a double backer for your magicians and that is always nice and you're gonna get an ad card for kings and crooks you're gonna get two mischievous jokers. It's very much like a gargoyle, uh, again, from like early stone engravings. And you can see the second one is a card reveal, not only uh, down there in the mouth, but up there at the top where you suspect it would say joker. Your ace of spades is beautifully ornate. It says bloodlines down there at the bottom. And uh, it's just done in that same rich stylized uh, elegance that is also exemplified on the back design. All the pips and indices are completely redrawn and custom. You can also see that there's kind of like a watermark element there in the background creating like this really beautiful shadow. The pips uh, are all ornate too. They're not just solid blocks of color, but they're also intricate uh, works of art in and of themselves. In the blue deck, the red cards aren't red, they're actually blue. And so if you open up the green deck, you're gonna find that those red cards are actually green. The court cards have a very traditional feel to them as far as the look, gestures, the elements that they're holding in their hands, but then they have that really cool Lee McKenzie look that makes the Empire Bloodlines unique. Well, that is it for this deck review of the Empire Bloodlines edition. As always, recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks, bye.